This is the DBX Drive Rack PA2. Now, the Drive Rack mainstay of sort of you know mid mid size systems everywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, we're we're fairly familiar with the interface. We're fairly familiar with going in and changing settings. Uh, but this one, very very good iPad app. Yeah. Look, we we are fairly familiar with the old Drive Rack interface, which frankly kind of sucked a bit. Mm. Um, but no more than any other system processes, you know, one rack unit yeah. size interface does. Yeah. There's only so much functionality you can fit into, mm. into a space and possibly to that end they've gone for these new little tiny sort of round buttons. I don't really like these new buttons. I thought yeah. the old buttons were better. But anyway. But you can, you can, the good thing is you can get away from that. You with, don't need to touch yeah. them. Yeah. Um, on the back we've got an Ethernet port and you use that to connect to a, a DHCP enabled wireless access point mm. uh, and connect your iPad to that. Uh, and then you can control every aspect mm. of the PA2 uh, via your iPad. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the, the interesting things about this. It, it really can handle a lot of stuff automatically. It's got a wizard, it can guide you through settings, or if you're a more knowledgeable system tech, you can really go in and, and get into the guts of it. And it sort yeah. of caters to both markets. Yeah, and I think what they've done is it's a really smart move actually, because they've made, you know, uh, system processing from a reputable brand mm. available to a wider section of people, you know, sort of maybe the the smaller operators who mm. might have gone for a cheaper processor in the past yeah. will look at this and go, okay, well, it's maybe a couple of hundred bucks more, but mm. we've got some local backup, we've got a name we trust. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not a really knowledgeable system tech, as you say, there are the wizard functions. And, mm. and the wizard is really good. Like yeah. it'll ask you, okay, what sort of speakers do you have? And there's a big library of stuff. Um, and then what sort of amps are you driving them from? Do you want to drive your subs in mono or stereo? And then it'll tell you, okay, set this amplifier attenuator mm. to this position. Mm. And basically does it all for you. Um, as well as that, there's a wizard for the feedback suppressor mm -hmm. and one for matching levels. Mm -hmm. And there's the other function as well, which you noticed. Yeah, you've got a, you can run an analysis mic and you've got an RTA. Yeah, exactly. So look, for, for the price, I think you get a huge amount of functionality. Yeah. Uh, and as, as you also said, you know, if you are a, a very accomplished system tech uh, and you don't want to do any of the wizard stuff, that's fine. You just don't do it. Mm. You get into the iPad up and go, okay, I want yeah. this kind of filter at this frequency with this roll off. Yeah. And delays uh, and in you know measurements or milliseconds, whatever you want. It's all it's Yeah. All in there. Look, the, the app's really intuitive. Mm. Uh, it seems very stable. And um, I think they're onto a really good thing with this. Yeah, especially at the price. Yeah.